Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Bedinner and I am the owner of this wonderful shop with my lovely wife Michelle Bedinner who's behind the camera over there looking at me as she often does in disgust. So today we are um, showing you the Casio Salviano Grand Hybrid Digital Pianos. This is a monumental occasion because these digital pianos use wooden keys. I reckon that is extremely cool. Not only are they wooden keys, but this keyboard has been developed in conjunction with Beckstein, which is a famous German piano maker. They make amazing, amazing pianos. Now, I had to check with our rep to make sure that I was telling the truth when I say this, but these are the same, this is the same keyboard that goes into Beckstein pianos. And so, where previously we might have said, ah oh, yes, we have a piano keyboard on this digital piano, um, and been thinking, yeah, it's, it pretty much is, now we are actually saying this, these are piano keys that you are pressing when you are using this digital piano. So if you're doing exams or something like that, and you're playing, you're practicing on this all day and night, then you go into your exam and it'll still be a piano action. Possibly not as good a piano action as you'd be practicing on with this one. It will feel, this feels like a real piano action. When I press down one of these keys, you can see um, on the side of the key the sort of thin growth lines of the wood that has been used to make the key um, and they feel amazing it just feels like a really solid piano action I'm sorry I can't give you the feel of it over the over the computer screen maybe in 20 years or something like that you'll be able to reach through the screen and, and press and go wow Richard that's amazing um, so now they use um, the tri-sensor hammer action number two that um, Casio has been developing over the years. They, they both use the best sort of sound and the, the best technology um, that Casio can produce. Um, and one cool little feature about both of them, the GP300 and 500, is they have a little window up here so you can look inside and you can see the hammers of the of the digital piano. I reckon that is a really cool touch. Um, now I have uh, a model over here which is just a display, a special display model of the GP500 for shops where you can see a much bigger display of all of the workings inside the inside the piano. It's just amazing uh, and I think it's just genius to to collaborate with Beckstein to make something like that. I, I think it's great. Now, the sound. I will play both to start with. Have a listen. So they both have three grand piano sounds. Uh, this is the Berlin grand piano. the GP300 by the way, Berlin Grand, then it's got the Hamburg Grand Piano, which sounds a little sort of brighter, more sparkly, the Berlin Grand is a little bit more mellow sounding, and then the Vienna Grand. Grand is sort of between as far as the sort of brightness or mellowness goes, but it seems to have more sort of projection. Hmm, interesting. Now I'll put it back to the Berlin Grand so I can do a direct comparison from the GP300 to the 500. All right. <laughs> Now, this 
this sounds sort of bigger and better and deeper. And strangely, I spoke to our Casio rep and he said the technology inside of them, as far as the sound source and the speakers and that sort of thing, are the same. So what's going on? Well, I'll tell you what's going on. Um, the GP500 has a scene setting function. So you can set the, the sound to be what the great composers would have heard. So for instance, if I press enter on my little pad down here, I can scroll through from Chopin to Debussy, Beethoven, all these different famous composers, and it will set different aspects of what they would have heard. For instance, um, they made it might have had a little bit more, they might have had more um, sort of key noise, key you know, on and off noise. It might have had you know, more um, pedal noise, might have had a little bit more reverberation, um, that sort of thing, so that they can sort of preset these things. And so when you choose Berlin Grand on this GP500, it has presets of what they think the Berlin Grand should sound like, not only using their, top, their sort of air sound source and grand acoustic speaker system and that sort of thing, but also sort of tweaking it by utilising different aspects of maybe the, the phasing towards the end of a note. I mean, there's so much that goes into them, but they just try to set the scene for those particular sounds. So it does sound different. I'll play just a little arpeggio on both again, just so you can hear a difference. So that's the Berlin Grand sound for both. Just sort of had a little bit more ring to it and a little bit more, I don't know, encompassing sound going on there. Ah, interestingly, um, I was also told that the sound coming from these digital digital pianos comes from the top and from the bottom and so you're sort of immersed in the sound. So you've got the wooden keys, you've got the internal hammer action, um, the, the difference in there inside there is that the it does have the hammers just like a real piano but it's hitting a digital pad instead of the, the string and that's how it's making the sound, but the feel is exactly the same. In fact, it's hitting three digital pads because they call it a tri-sensor hammer action. And so that's how they, they get their sound. They both sound ridiculously amazing. My favorite thing about this is the grumble in the bass. It sounds so much better than the acoustic pianos that we have in our practice rooms. It is just incredible. And it has the advantage of you never need, need to tune it and um, you don't need a big piano moving company to move it because it won't go out of tune as you're moving it. Incredible. Now, um, another thing is they both have this thing called concert play. So, you can play along with... Um, a whole orchestra and it gives you the sheet music uh, and it's not it's not a MIDI file it's actually an um, acoustic file a wave file that plays back to you and you can play along and it has a, a learning system so you can learn those songs it's really cool um, yeah I think oh and the other thing that the, the 500 has it has 35 sounds tones while the the 300 is 26 tones. I think I, is, I have expended myself. One more listen. 300. 500. They both get the thumbs up of white horse music. <laughs>